So hello everybody, this is Andreas Brickel. I'm a freelance colorist uh, based in Munich but working uh, all across Europe, for example for Defecto Motion or Ghost VFX in Copenhagen. So today I show you a tutorial about the so-called silver look. Uh, that's the look they used for Underworld Evolution. You see very very dark blue colors, blue shaded and the face looks white very highlighted silver shaded so it's called the silver look it's a kind of monochromatic look so you can see on my website www.colormeup.de I explain a little bit about monochromatic looks so um, this footage is from a commercial from uh, the directors Jessica Benzing and Maximilian Gellach from the label Kronk. It's not graded yet. Color correction 1. Just make some uh, contrast to it. Make everything neutral, make the blacks neutral and the whites mostly neutral. So okay, for the start that's okay, that's great. I want a limiter. Um, there are several ways to make a limiter. Leandro Marini has uh, made a great tutorial about how you get your highlights back. I'll show you another possibility today. It's uh, maybe a little bit easier. And put it here on the top. So to make this limiter I go to qualifier, fetch my highlights and Lay a little bit with the highlights, make it softer, maybe like this. So, it's my highlights key. And you can see if I go too far with the contrast, I can push it back here. Of course, it crashes all my colors in the highlights when you're too far, but. Set it. So if we need more contrast, contrast, we can go back with the limiter. It's a very, very easy way to do this. And I want another one, a qualifier for the blacks. Shadows. Blur it a little bit, but that's okay. So really, really important is that the highlights and the blacks are mostly neutral. So especially here with the silver look, the highlights and the face, it has to be neutral. Don't go like this and tint everything maybe in this blue color. So um, we can't do this. Maybe like this. Okay. So, uh, highlights again. I take the highlights, this time with a wider range, and push the saturation down so I neutralize the highlights. This is really important. Just a little, little, little difference, but it's important for our silver look. Make another key for the face. This just try and error, and as you can see, get too much from the background, so we need a canvas. Here, yeah, and soften it out. Maybe we have to animate it. Set key. In this case, it's not going too far, it's very easy. And now, I want to desaturate the face and maybe go a little bit into this greenish color. 
but most important is to desaturate it and increase the contrast like this. So I have the blacks here. I go a little bit down with the blacks even more and push some blue inside. Take care of our limiter. Yes. On the other side, if you want to make a cool, very cool look, you can push the limiter up if someone likes it. So um, we go like this. The lips. Let's fetch the lips back with a key. So let's make it like this and blur it out. That's okay. The canvas freeform. Shrink it and soften. Soften is really, really important. So, in this case, just go in this red color. Not too far. I think this is okay. So, let's see if we have to animate it a little bit. Okay. That's it. Okay. The last thing we have to do is this area here. Um, we need a silver look, so it has to be blue. Let's say um, blue wall. I try it with a key. And you see the color space is not f exactly enough. Uh, but it's no problem, we have our canvas, so freeform. Just a rough canvas, soften it a little bit, and some blue inside. Maybe play a little bit with the saturation. Take care here. That's no problem if it goes uh, if the canvas is, is in the black area. So and uh, maybe we blur it a little bit. So here on the highlights, you can see it's the neutralizer for the highlights. I would blur it a little bit too. So it's we have this soft look. Maybe increase contrast a little bit more. So and I think it will move. Of course it moves. Every, every canvas moved. So let's do it like this and this. But it's too I don't know, I don't like the color. Maybe go a little bit darker. Something like that. So, that's kind of a civil look. Maybe push the highlights. You can take the limiter. The limiter is highlights too, or this kind of highlights, and push them a little bit into and, um, blue area. So, not too far, just it has to be neutral, but this uh, small tint of blue inside and this is without great this is our silver tinted look so that's it I hope you did enjoy this tutorial and um, please visit my my website it's www.colormeup.de Thank you and I hope uh, it was useful for you. Andreas Brickle, colorist. Thanks. <laughs>